Hello everyone and welcome to the library's new catalogue. We're very pleased to have made this upgrade and to be able to provide you with lots of new functionality. So to get to the new catalogue you can still click on the link on the library website and you can also type the catalogue address directly into the address bar in your browser. It's golden.spidus.com. So the first thing that I'd like to show you is the home page. Um, so up the top here you can see that there's a number of links. We've got things to the library's events, our opening hours, um, our online resources and so on. We also have over here in the top right hand corner where you can log in, uh, you use your library card barcode and also your password. So your password will be the same as the PIN that you're already using. Um, and if you have forgotten your password you can reset it yourself from home now by clicking the forgot your password link here. You can see that we also have a register option here um, and so that means that you can now become a member of the library online and make use of our online resources. Then all you need to do is bring your ID into the library so we can upgrade your membership and give you a library card. You can also see down the side of the home page a number of quick links um, including for logging in, registering and so on. Um, you can also make a suggestion for purchase for new items that you would like the library to get in and also make an interlibrary loan request to request to borrow items for another library in Australia um, for things that we don't hold in our library. Further down here you can see uh, some quick links to see some of the new books, music, DVDs, those sorts of things um, that we've just got into the library as well as some of the things that other people have recently reviewed. In the main part of the web page here you can see that we've got um, uh, we can have welcome messages and other messages that might be of interest to you and we'll also use this to highlight displays of new items or topical items for you to browse through. Okay, so to use our catalogue to do a search, you go up to this search by keyword bar up here. Um, it will automatically search through everything that the library uh, has in the catalogue, but you can narrow it down here if you want to by clicking the drop down and selecting um, a particular kind of collection. I'll do my search for all the resources. So you just click in the bar here and start to type. And you can see that it then gives you um, some suggestions of things that you might be looking for. Um, so you can type in here an author, you can type the title of a book or a keyword as I've done here and it will give you some suggestions of things that are currently in the library. You can click on those if they're the things that you want or you can just press enter or click on the magnifying glass here. So you can see that we've got quite a few results in this search so we might want to narrow it down a little bit. One way to do this is with this filter results on the side here. So we can say, say we want to borrow something physical from the library so we can say we just want titles with available items and we don't want things that are online, we only want physical things. Um, and then this will give us a list of things that are currently on the shelf in the library. Uh, we can also do some uh, other refining, so say we only want newer sorts of items. We can choose from the date range there. We can also use this topic um, if we want only particular sorts of things. And if you find that it's um, narrowed it down too much for you, you can also go up here and click the small x and then that will allow you to have more of the results and you can do some more filtering. Uh, you can also use the not for the topics as well. So um, say I didn't want to see the large print books, I can say not large print books and it will reduce the results again. There's another way that you can filter your results as well here in the options. You can click and go refine results and you can add another subject there if you want to. And that will give you um, the things that include both your initial uh, search and that additional subject as well. You also have the option here to sort. and it will give you uh, the things in the order that you have chosen to sort by. Now once you've done your search, if you've found some things that you uh, like, you can place a reservation from this screen on one thing or on multiple things. So you can do a tick 
next to the things that you want. And then up here under Options, you can reserve your selections. You can also save your selections or save all to a saved list and that can be used to help you to keep track of things that you might like to borrow at some point but you don't want to borrow them right now. So if you'd like to see where a particular book is located in the library, you can click on View Availability and that will tell you where it's located within the library and how you can find it there. You can also place a reservation um, from this screen as well if you want to. If you wanted to find out more about a particular book, you can click on its title and you can see we've got a lot more of the summary here that was um, cut off on that first page. And we can also see more details um, about the book as well. Further down, if there's any reviews, um, you can read them here or you can add your own review. And then there are similar titles to this one that it might be a suggestion that you might like to read as well other titles in this series and if we have other books by the same author then we would have um, other titles by that author there as well. And again we can see where it is up here or place a reservation um, from this screen as well. Making a reservation, um, adding items to your save list and also reviewing titles will all require you to log in to your library account. So the catalogue will prompt you as needed um, to do that but you can log in before you start your search by going up here to log in and you enter your library barcode number and your password. And click log in. After you log in you can see your library account dashboard which shows you everything that you need to know about your library activity. So you can see your finds if you've got any, um, things that you've currently got on loan as well as um, there's a section where you can just see your overdue loans if you need to. And if you go in there you can renew your loans from within here as well. You can see your reservations that are available to be picked up as well as the reservations um, that you have out um, that aren't yet ready. Down the side menu here you can also see there's some other things. For example, um, there are some recommendations for you. And this is based on the things that you've borrowed in the past and your reservations and so on. And so this might help you to find some things that you would like to borrow um, that you maybe haven't thought of before and you can also view your history to see the things that you've borrowed in the past. It's also got the option here to create a new alert profile and this is um, you put in the details of something that you're interested in and then it will send you an email uh, as often as you want. It could be every day, every week, every month or every quarter um, and it will tell you when new things that match your search have arrived in the library. So it can be really good if there's a particular topic or an author that you particularly uh, like then you can find out as soon as there's a new book by them available. Over here you can also view your saved lists. Um, you can add new saved lists if you'd like to start a new one or you can have a look um, at the lists that you've created in the past so that you can browse the books you've saved to find something new that you can borrow today. Within here you can also view your personal details and you can see um, your name and address and so on. If you need to update any of those then you'll need to come into the library. Um, but if you want to change your password you can enter a new password here or if you want to update your phone numbers or email address you can enter them there. Once you've entered them you just need to enter your current password and choose update and then uh, the new password and contact details will be updated. Once you've finished using your account you can also go up here and choose log out to log out of the account. So that's the basics of our new catalogue. We hope you enjoy using it and if you've got any questions about how to do anything please ask us. See you next time in the library. Bye!